Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, I was watching a tutorial on YouTube the other day. The tutorial was made by um, Kevin Daga and the new tutorial is um, how shift registers work. So while I was watching the tutorial, I was very interested in shift register, but unfortunately I don't have the 74HC595 chip that was used in the tutorial. So I decided to simulate it on a Proteus uh, circuit diagram software, whatever. And here, after twinkling with the software a bit, I was able to um, draw the schematic diagram, which I was able to simulate and I was happy by the results. So I wanted to show you how the simulation goes. Here, this uh, this first thing is the clock pulse, I believe, for the uh, shift register clock pulse. This one is the data line. This is the storage uh, clock pulse. I believe it's called the the latch. So here are the outputs, all the eight outputs plus the data out outputs, the one that sends data to the next shift register. So here in simulation, for example, if I were to click on this uh, clock pulse here, since the data here is what zero, since this place is in the off state, it means uh, zero will be shifted through all these LEDs. For example, let me start the simulation. Here, starting the simulation, the red means positive high. That is positive voltage, which is the same thing as high. The blue means ground, which is the same thing as low. So it shows that here at the LED, they are all low. That is, the LED will not come on. Now, if I were to click on this push button, it means the clock pulse is now high. But while the clock pulse is high, it can be seen that uh, nothing happens except all this uh, resistor and this thing they went high. Now, what happens here is that if I were to close my data in here and I click on the clock pulse, the clock pulse becomes high. It means one, the first LED D1 is now what. Is, is, uh, is not having a high value so and to know whether it's really having a high value or not we just latch it we uh, yeah we latch it so after latching it we see that d1 is really high if i were to click on this clock pulse as you can see data in is what high if i were to click on this clock pulse again then this latch will not be uh, should take the situation to the next place we show that d22 is high the value of D2 is the previous value on D1, which was shifted to D2. Then the new value, when I clicked, belongs to D1. So if you continue shifting the high value, then if I decide to put a low value there, I just need to uh, make this D1 low. Then clock pulse, immediately I click on the clock pulse, 0 is now saved in D1. The value of D1, which is high, will be moved to D2. The value of D2, which is high, will be moved to D3. And that is what happens when I latch it. As you can see here, that, that exactly is what happens. So now let's test uh, the second IC whether it is working fine or not. Here I'm just going to move high everywhere. High, high, high. As I'm clicking on the clock pulse, it's sending everything high. Since the D1 is high, if the D1 is low, then it will be sending, it will be shifting low. High, 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 high. Okay, let's see what happens here by just latching. Immediately I latch, I can see that all my LEDs there are now what's high, but it seems it has not been shifted there yet. So let's uh, click on this again. High. Let's test it. Oof, it seems something is not working fine. Okay, yeah. After shifting all this, I still need to check my outputs. I still need to latch for this one and see what happens here. So just this, the same thing as this latch here. I just have to latch it here. Latch. So as you can see, the output is coming here. So this output here that is low. By the time I shift another register here, then this output, this low output will be shifted to this place. This means this one will be low. So let's see whether that really happens. Yeah, this is low. 
So as you can see, this is at least shift register, and I believe it's called the uh, serial in parallel out. The, the data moves in serially, but data comes out parallel. So okay, uh, this latch here, I don't think it's in the right place. The latch should be connected to this latch, so that whenever you latch this first uh, IC, it will automatically latch for the second IC. So I believe this uh, this thing here is wrong. Let me just stop the simulation. I'm going to remove this latch. I'm going to remove the push button too. Then I'll connect uh, the latch directly. Yeah. So let's see if it's working fine now. Okay, I've started the simulation. Yeah, my data in is already high. So let me send high all through. Well, I'm not counting. I think it should be up to 8 by now. So, immediately I latch it here. It's supposed to automatically latch it through the two ICs showing that my program is working fine so uh, that will be all for this schematic diagram when I paste another schematic diagram I will make it a little bit much better than this thank you for watching please leave any observation I believe this is my first program on electronics this is my first video on electronics thank you very much